क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट हाउ वी नीड टू पास रेक्टिफिकेशन एंट्रीज वॉट आर द स्टेप्स वी नीड टू फॉलो द थ्री स्टेप प्रोसेस दैट वी हैव लर्न अर्लियर हाउ टू अप्लाई दैट स्पेसिफिक थ्री स्टेप प्रोसेस लेट्स गो एड एंड फाइंड आउट दैट so we have certain examples mentioned down here what we need to understand is how this specific example will be helped or probably will help us to understand how rectification entries are passed so as we have learned that how rectification entries are supposed to be followed as per the three step process we need to understand how this three step process can be followed to ensure that all the rectification entries are passed in a specific way Let's go ahead and find out those examples. Let's take the examples which have been mentioned down here. Make sure you make a note of all these examples. Credit sales of rupees ten thousand to Mohan have not been recorded. So as I mentioned, the first transaction which states credit sales of rupees ten thousand not recorded yet. Let's go ahead and note down the second transaction. Credit sales to Mohan of rupees ten thousand recorded as rupees thousand. So as you can see that the transaction which was made for rupees ten thousand has been recorded into Mohan's account as rupees thousand itself. Let's go ahead and note down the third transaction here. Credit sales to Mohan of rupees ten thousand has been recorded as rupees twelve thousand. So the transaction that mentions or states that the ten thousand sale has been mentioned as rupees twelve thousand here. make sure you note down all these transactions here because we'll be passing the journal entries that means the three step process following these examples itself the last example has been mentioned here let's take a note of it credit sales of rupees 10000 to mohan has been erroneously recorded to mr ram's account that means the sale transaction which was given to mohan of rupees 10000 has been posted into mr ram's account now as you have mentioned all these transactions we need to understand how we can prepare or further go ahead with preparation of rectification of entries here now as you can see that all these transactions these are the erroneous transactions that have been mentioned or formed what you need to do is that follow the three step process and understand how a rectified entry needs to be passed we'll go ahead and solve all these transactions one by one let's go ahead and do that so as you have seen that i have mentioned three columns here one first being the wrong entry second being the correct entry and the third being the rectified entry i'll be marking the third category that is the rectified entry under a box because that will be the final answer that is required to solve these transactions so to solve these transactions we need to first pass the wrong entry that has been mentioned in the first example as you know that the first example it states credit sales of rupees mohan which has not been posted to his account that means the transaction has been completely omitted from mentioning in the journal entries so you need to pass that entry hence that specific transaction will not have wrong entry will not have a correct entry will just have a rectified entry just because this specific transaction has been completely omitted and hence it doesn't affect the trial balance so let's go ahead and make a note of the rectified entry here as you have seen that i have mentioned a wrong mark or a cross mark here just to make sure that you understand that this is a complete omission error hence there has been no transaction entry that can be either wrong or that can be either correct the reason being the transaction was completely omitted now let's go ahead and check what the second entry or the second transaction has in for us now the second question that stated Credit sales to Mr. Mohan rupees ten thousand has been recorded as rupees one thousand. That means the entry seems to be correct. However, the amount which was supposed to be ten thousand has been mentioned as rupees one thousand. So what you need to do here is to ensure or make find out that the amount has been correctly rectified or probably the amount has been correctly mentioned in the transactions. Let's go ahead and mention the route of or probably the wrong account entry. so the wrong entry itself says that the credit amount or probably the amount which was supposed to be recorded was rupees 10000 however it has been mentioned as rupees 1000 that's the reason we have mentioned the entry as mohan account debit to sales account rupees 1000 only the correct entry should have been mohan account debit to sales account rupees 10000 as the transaction was worth rupees 10000 here let's go ahead and make a note of that
Now, when you know that there is a difference of amount and not the transaction being wrong, that means you need to make rectifications only in the amount. That means the difference which was supposed to be credited and debited will be done in the rectification entry. So the rectification entry will be similar that is Mohan account debit to sales account. However, the amount will be the difference between the one that has been recorded and the one that should be ideally recorded. That means rupees 10,000 minus 1,000 which will give you a difference of 9,000 which should have been recorded in this rectifying entry. Let's record that transaction here. So this is how you pass the rectification entry when these transactions are not affecting the trial balance. Make sure I'm remembering these things or re-emphasizing on these things where these specific transactions are not affecting your trial balance. Hence, these entries are really simple and the difference is only the amount that has to be credited or debited as per the nature of the transaction. We'll go on to the third example and understand how to pass the wrong entries, the correct entries and the rectified entries for the same. Let's go ahead and find out that. Now if you see on the third question that states credit sales to Mr. Mohan which was worth rupees 10,000 has been recorded as rupees 12,000 here. So that means any transaction which was worth 10,000 the amount has been overemphasized and it has been mentioned as rupees 12,000. So how you pass the rectification entries is to find out the difference again. The previous sum had short money that means 9,000 difference which was short however here we have excess of money of rupees 2,000. We need to clarify the difference between these things and we need to make sure that the difference is mentioned here and when it comes to rectification entries the amount will still be the same just the difference has to be mentioned. Let's pass the wrong entry first. So if you can see we have mentioned Mohan account debit rupees 12,000 to sales account rupees 12,000. That is the wrong entry that has been passed as per the question. Now let's pass the correct entry. The amount will differ. That means instead of 12,000 it should have been 10,000 as per the question. However, the entry will still remain the same. Now what you need to check here is when you are passing any rectified entry or rectification of errors are being done here, you need to check what has happened in the transaction. If you see, there are certain transactions which show a positive difference and a negative difference. You need to understand here whether there is excess balance or there is a shortage of balance. If you can see in this transaction, the transaction has been overemphasized. That means an excess amount has been already recorded. We need to curb down that specific transaction or we need to lower down the balance. How do we lower down the balance? Is by passing the journal entries or the rectification entries here, which will be as follows. Yes, I have reversed the entry. The reason being, if you can understand, the earlier question had shortage. That means we had to add up the value. Here, there is already an excess, hence we need to reduce. So when it is about reduction, and if the account has been already debited or credited with excess amount, we need to pass a reversal entry so that the similar amount can be removed off. That means additional 2000 which has been debited or credited into the account can be reversed off. So if the correct entry states Mohan account debit to sales account, which has been already debited with 12,000 and credited with 12,000, you need to pass a reversal entry. That means sales account debit to Mohan account which will have a difference only of 2000. Hence, the amount that has been recorded here is just 2000. Whereby, if you have Mohan account which has been already debited with 12,000 and if you credit that amount with 2000, the balance in his account will be just 10,000. To give you an example, let's prepare a T account here. If you can see, I've given you an example of Mohan account where as per the journal entries, Mohan account has been debited with rupees 12,000 
and as per the correct or the rectified entry it has been credited with rupees 2000 so the balance that means the debit balance and the credit balance gives you a difference of rupees 10000 which has been recorded so that is the actual balance what mohan should have and hence that is the balance or that is the counting entry that we have passed hence the reversal entry hence the rectified entry has included the reversal entries which says sales account debit to mohan account which will give you a reversal effect and the rectified entry entry will have the actual balance now let's go ahead and find out the fourth example which gives you certain details about it now if you can see in the fourth example we have mentioned that credit sales of rupees 10,000 which were done to Mohan but were recorded in Mr. Ram's book that means instead of Mr. Mohan it has been recorded as Mr. Ram so to understand what needs to be done here you need to make sure that the wrong entry is passed in a specific manner the correct entry which has to be passed should have been passed by crediting Mr. Mohan or debiting Mr. Mohan as per the nature of the transaction and the rectified entry will have a difference of all these transactions. So let's pass the first entry which states about the wrong entry. That means instead of Mohan you will be debiting Mr. Ram's account here. So if you can see we have passed the wrong entry which is as per the question that states that instead of Mr. Mohan's account Mr. Ram's account was debited for the sales that was made which was for an amount of 10,000 itself. Now the correct entry should have been Mohan account debit to sales account again the amount being the same because there is no change in the amount here. We'll pass the correct entry and we'll see how the rectified entry will change here. As you can see that we have passed the correct entry which states Mohan account debit rupees 10,000 to sales rupees 10,000. If you can see we have something very common here. Sales has been credited in the first that is the wrong entry and sales have been also credited in the correct entry. That means we have nothing to do about sales here. Sales account has been perfectly placed. Now when we talk about rectification you need to understand what has to be debited and what has been already debited. So in the question it stated that the RAM account has been already debited. To change this thing or to rectify this thing you need to pass a reversal entry which will state that the debit has been now credited. That means RAM account which was debited earlier will now be credited. And the ideal person who should have been debited, that is Mr. Mohan, will be debited in the rectified entry. So this is how you pass the rectification entry when it comes to examples which doesn't affect your trial balance. Now, we'll be further studying how examples will be affecting your trial balance and how a suspense account will be used and what are the examples that you need to follow when it comes to preparation of suspense account while using rectification of errors. Again, we'll be having certain examples. Please make sure you note down these transactions so that it will be easy for you when you further go ahead in the video and analyze how the examples have been formed in rectification of entries and how the correct, the wrong and the rectified entry have been interpreted and written down. So if you can see we have certain examples here which affect the trial balance and hence a usage of suspense account as we have discussed earlier becomes necessary. Now let's note down the transactions and understand how this specific transactions will be helpful in creation of suspense account and will be further analyzed when it comes to rectification of them. Credit sales to Mr. Mohan has not been recorded or posted to his account. Make sure there is a difference in the first example that I have given already and in this example. It has not been posted to his account. That means the sales account has been already credited. Now when we talk about rectification we will be further studying how a nil account can be used or probably a nil account can further arise the usage of suspense account. Let's go on the second transaction and understand what it is mentioned. Credit sales to Mr. Mohan, rupees 10,000 has been posted as rupees 7,000 to his account. That means there is a shortage of rupees 3,000 which we need to find out and rectify how a suspense account will be used in preparation of this specific transaction. Let's go on to the third one and find out what else is the transaction and how a rectification can be passed here.
credit sales of rupees 10,000 to Mr. Mohan has been posted into his account as rupees 12,000. Again, an addition of amount. That means instead of 10,000, we have 2,000 addition to his account. Hence, what do we do to find out or probably just to make sure that his account is rectified? Again, the question states that the amount has been debited as rupees 12,000 only to his account. That means the sales account is completely fine. Hence, we have mentioned that a suspense account is created only when one single account has been affected and none of the other accounts are affected. To make sure, a suspense account will always be created when there is one single or specified account which has an error. Let's go ahead and find out how these transactions can be further classified or can be further written down into a suspense account trial balance method. Let's check that thing. So as we have learned about the first transaction, credit sales of rupees 10,000 to done Mr. Mohan has not been posted to his account. That means a sale of rupees 10,000 which was done perfectly hasn't been posted to his account. So we'll pass the wrong entry first. If you can see, I've mentioned nil here. That means this specific amount was not mentioned in Mr. Mohan's account at any cost. Hence, we have mentioned or we have clarified in the first instance itself. That means sales account has been perfectly maintained. It is the only thing that Mohan account has not been debited or credited here. So let's check what the correct entry would have been. If you can see that we have mentioned Mohan account has been debited now with rupees 10,000 and the sales account has been already credited with rupees 10,000. This is the correct entry which should have been ideally passed. Now when it comes to rectification of entries and as this specific transaction is only affecting one account and not both, hence we'll be using a suspense account here instead of rectifying both the entries or both the accounts. Now, to understand, Mohan account which was not debited will be debited with rupees 10,000 and the balance will be suspended or probably moved forward to suspense account. Hence, instead of sales, we'll be crediting suspense account as we have additional balance which needs to be transferred and cannot be moved to sales. Because if you do or if you move that balance or if you credit sales account again, there will be dual credits under sales just for one name, whereby again the trial balance won't tally at all. Hence, a suspense account is used when one single account has been error or probably there is an error that has been found in one single account. If you can see, I have mentioned on the credit side that the suspense account has been used. Just because sales account was perfectly maintained and there was no error in the sales account, hence we had to discard the sales account and instead of sales account, we had to use suspense account. Now the entry or the rectified entry will be Mohan account debit rupees 10,000 to suspense account rupees 10,000. This will be the rectification that will be sorted for the first transaction. Let's go ahead and check how the next two transactions are sold here. Now, the second question which had credit sales to Mr. Mohan rupees 10,000 has been recorded as rupees 7,000 to his account itself. That means Mohan account which should have been ideally debited with rupees 10,000 was debited with rupees 7,000 which clearly states that the sales account had no effect and the sales account was perfectly placed. So let's pass the wrong entry and find out where the difference is. So if you can see I've passed the entry, Mohan account rupees 7,000 and the sales account rupees 10,000. Now, the correct entry should have been Mohan account debit to sales account rupees 10,000. So, as we have passed the correct entry, Mohan account debit rupees 10,000 to sales rupees 10,000 has been already mentioned. Now, how do you rectify this? sales account has no effect or the sales account has no credit or debit in it. Hence, whatever rectification needs to be done, needs to be done only in the Mohan's account. Now, Mohan's account has been already debited with 7,000. That means there is a difference of 3,000 which needs to be further debited to his account. Hence, we'll be passing the same entry, Mohan account to suspense account with the only difference of rupees 
3000 which comes from 10000 the actual amount and the amount which has been already mentioned 7000 now that we have already passed the wrong entry the correct entry has been mentioned will pass the rectified entry as you can see that i've mentioned mon account debit to suspense account with the difference amount being 3000 that means the amount which should have been ideally mentioned rupees 10,000 and the amount which was already debited to Mr. Mohan's account rupees 7,000. If you can see the difference which is rupees 3,000 should have been further debited to his account. That's the reason Mohan account has been further debited with rupees 3,000 which brings up the total of 10 and the suspense account has been created for the difference amount that is rupees 3,000. This is how you used a suspense account when it comes to preparation or rectification of errors which are affecting only one single account. Let's go ahead and find out the third example which will give you more clarity on how suspense accounts have been created or will help when it comes to over excess or the amount which has been further excessively mentioned into the account. Let's go ahead and check the transaction. So if you can see the last transaction which has been mentioned here states that credit sales to Mr. Mohan rupees 10,000 has been posted to his account as rupees 12,000 emphasized further onto his account. The reason being sales have been perfectly mentioned as 10. However, Mohan's account has been further debited or excessively debited with 2,000 more. That means 12,000 has been mentioned into his account. So let's pass the wrong entry and see what happens when we pass the correct entry and the rectification of errors. As you can see, we have debited Mr. Mohan's account with rupees 12,000 and the sales account is perfectly credited with 10,000. That means the amount which has a difference or addition into the account states only to Mr. Mohan's account. Now let's pass the correct entry and see how the rectified entry will be further evaluated. So the correct entry states Mohan account rupees 10,000 debited to sales account rupees 10,000. Now this is the entry which should have been passed. If you can see sales account already has a credit of 10,000. So no bother of using that sales account any further. The only rectification that you have to do is to Mr. Mohan's account. What do you find the difference? In the earlier sum, there was a difference of 3,000. That means 3,000 less. Here we have excess of 2,000. That means Mohan account, which has been already debited with 12,000, has to be further reduced to rupees 10,000. So if something which has been already raised up, and if you want to lower it down, you cut it down from that method. That means you pass a reversal entry to get it lowered. Hence, we'll be passing a reversal entry here, but not with sales, but using suspense account. Let's pass that entry and see how the difference is made here. So if you can see, we have passed the entry which states suspense account debit to Mohan account rupees 2000. That means now after passing this entry, the ledger balance will show a complete error free ledger of rupees 10,000. Why is because the debit of 12,000 has been now further reduced to rupees 2000 and the balance which we'll have will have only 10,000, which is the exact requirement of the transaction of sales. Hence, this is how you pass the rectification entry when it comes to suspense account being used affecting just one specific transaction. Further to add to this, we need to make sure that suspense account is a certain account which will be further used in the next financial year in case if by the end of financial year you are not able to rectify any of these transactions or you are not able to further evaluate where this error is coming from. You don't close the suspense account, you carry forward the balance and then the same thing is then finally evaluated in the next year. If at all in the next year you are able to finalize or find the error in the previous year's transactions, you then adjust it with the profit and loss account. 
just to make sure that the income statement is not hampered at all. Hence, this is just an additional information for your usage. Suspense account balance is never closed in case if the errors are not rectified or if the difference is not found out. Then you forward that balance to the next financial year and go ahead with rectifications there. Once you find out the errors of the previous year's transactions, you go ahead and close the suspense account by adjusting the profit and loss account just to make sure that the income statements are not hampered at any cases. So today that we have learned here is rectification of errors, passing the entries when it comes to one single account being affected using suspense account and if both the accounts are affected, how do you pass the rectification entries? So this is what we have learned for the day. Thank you for watching this video. Keep subscribing to Ikeda and stay tuned with Ikeda.